Welcome. My name is Hamir Mandavia and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at Zukin. Today I'd like to introduce to you Zukin's latest innovation in system level conceptual design called System Planner. In System Planner we combine the task of creating block diagrams, conduct 2D floor planning, analyzing the whole system in 3D, and conduct bomb planning all within one environment allowing you to conduct real-time trade-off analysis. For example, if I move this component here in the 2D view, you notice that change update automatically in the 3D view. Let's take this component in the 3D view and we'll move it over here from one PCB to another and you see that information dynamically reflect in the 2D view. Let's go to the block diagram. I'll select this function block here and I'll add a few components to the list. Now you see this information automatically update in the spreadsheet view. So you can see the real-time interaction when doing your conceptual design planning all within one environment. Let's take a closer look at each of these modules and we'll start with the 3D view. In a 3D view, you have the ability to start viewing the whole assembly with various view options. For example, I can create a cutting plane, so let's define a plane here. And we can cut the plane here so you can start doing the assemblies at any other viewpoints as needed. Also you have the ability to conduct measurements in 3D and also start doing collision checks. So let's take for example I move this component here and for whatever reason there was a conflict I could detect this with the interference checking tool. So if I go pull up my report you see the conflict reported here in the check result and if I also want more information, I can access it here. Let's go into the 2D view. And here I can see the complete 2D view of the system and start considering the optimization of my floor planning. Let's take, for example, these components here can all reside on this PCB. I may decide that this PCB is no longer needed as part of the system, so I can now delete it and then take into consideration any other components on the design. So you can see here by optimizing your floor plan you can reduce the space or the count of the PCBs that are involved in the system. I can also do some additional checks for example like take into exam the real estate of each of the PCBs in the system so we can update the information here so you can see that one PCB's information is now removed from the list and I can also reflect this information on the canvas as well. Let's take a look at the block diagram module. In the block diagram, I want to add another function block to my design. So I'll zoom underneath here the microprocessor. We'll add a new function block. We'll call this SDRAM. And I can also identify connections between this functional block and the microprocessor. Also to add information to the SDRAM, I can open up Zukin's Design Gateway, select a circuit block, and drag and drop it into System Planner. Once this is complete, I have the ability to access this information right within the System Planner. And I hover my cursor, I can open up any of the sheets involved in that circuit block. And I can also associate any other documents such as PDFs, and also spreadsheets. And I can always ask to access the information within the reuse list. So I can see all my documents and circuits in this dialog. In the spreadsheet view, I can take a look at all the different factors and attributes that are accumulating in part of my system design and also create reports for them at any time. So let's say I want to do a cost report here of the complete system. Also identify a budget to the design. So let's say this bill of material needs to be around a thousand. We'll select OK and you can see that uh, all the budgeting values you can set as well. Once this is complete, you can see here that I've exceeded my budget for this design 
and I could also go back and look at all the details here and start conducting some other trade-offs to meet my budgeting requirements as well. So you can see with System Planner you have the ability to combine all your planning tasks into one environment and also engage with the detail phase. For more information, please visit our website at zookin.com. Thank you.